Ooh, I, what? Which one to know what's what? What's what? Because I could answer. Y'all recording? Yeah, we recording. What you got? Which one to know what's what? Oh, of course. <laughs> this? What's this? Yeah. Secret ingredient. Secret ingredient. Tell him. Tell him. Crawfish fat. It no, makes your food come out. Hold on. I'm not done. It makes your food <laughs> come out phenomenal. <laughs> what you know about that, Chris? Uh, <laughs> you know Listen, if you want the best crawfish etouffee you ever had in your life, it starts right here. Not the day that you cook it, but the day before you cook it or a couple of days before you cook it. There's a couple of key ingredients that you're gonna need. Number one, obviously the crawfish, but the ball crawfish tail with the ball crawfish seasoning in it, puts it over the top. It gives it the taste that everybody loves. It, it makes it special. But I'm gonna tell you one special ingredient that you're gonna need that nobody uses, kind of old timey recipe that we used to use a long time ago. And that is the fat, okay? So what we do here, get this peeled out of here, all right? We take this head, open it up, and we scoop all this goodness out of here, all this fat, and we put it right here, okay? So this right here, this fat, the seasoned crawfish tails is the key to making the greatest crawfish ATPA you ever had in your life. Trust me. All right, what's happening, everybody? How we been? Ain't been, I hadn't seen y'all in a minute. We've been pretty busy over here at Station 9. And uh, in fact, I haven't even had a chance to introduce you to my new fireman, Mr. Michael Arsenault Jr. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Huh? Yeah, I like that. I, uh, I actually went to school with his dad. We played ball together. So uh, it's good to. Uh, had some younger guys where we pass some of that stuff down that uh, that we know and we do down to that younger generation. And uh, like I said for a long time, that's what we do here at the fire station. When I was a young farmer, and I learned from my captains and uh, different chiefs and different drivers and different recipes that we learned. So as a tradition down, a tradition down here in Louisiana, especially at the firehouse, I want to pass that down to my farm. And so Mike, you know how to cook crawfish eggs today? No, sir. No. Not to learn today. We're going to learn today <laughs> and listen. We're going to introduce Mike to a potato salad. We're going to let him make a potato salad. Let's hope we don't do it like, like old onion cutter did the last guy we had, right? That was kind of rough. <laughs> All right, like we said a little earlier, <clears throat> today we are making probably the most requested thing that I had. People all over town been like, hey, man, I'm doing a crawfish shake to fake. You can get a crawfish shake to fake. How you make a crawfish shake to fake? So today we'll learn you have the Kobe's crawfish shake to fake. All right? And, uh, Big Mike's gonna assist me. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. So Big Mike, let them know what we're gonna need okay, to so start off our crawfish egg too We got some flour on the table. Yeah. We got some onions, bell pepper, your Captain Kobe seasoning. That's what makes the magic happen. That's what they say. That's right, huh? Got your butter. We got some crawfish tails. Yeah. Cap, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what this is. Yeah. This, my friends, is the secret ingredient. Uh, listen, when I make my crawfish etouffee, I like to use ball crawfish. A lot of people buy the tail crawfish. That's fine, use whatever you got, use whatever you need. But if we have some crawfish left over from our crawfish ball, what I do is I sit down and I'll drag every piece of fat out of every crawfish head and I save it. And that is the secret ingredient in Captain Kobe's crawfish etouffee, right? Gotta have that fat, it's a game changer. It's what makes it phenomenal, right? All right, All right. All right okay. And we have some stock right here. So what we do the same thing, we take some heads, we boil them a little bit, get that flavor out of there, we strain it a little bit, and this is what we come out with, right? So instead of just adding water, we wanna add more crawfish to that, give it the most crawfish flavor that we can, all right? So we're gonna get started. We're gonna be chopping some onions. I'm gonna get everything ready. And uh, hang tight. Crawfish to fail on the way. Ooh, 
Why? What? Which one? What's what? What's what? Because I could answer. Y'all recording? Yeah, we recording. What you got? What you want to know? What's what? Oh, right, of course. <laughs> this. What's this? Yeah. Secret ingredient. Secret ingredient. Tell him. Tell him. Crawfish fat. It oh, makes your food come out. Right? Hold on. I'm not done. That your food will come out phenomenal. <laughs> what you know about that, Chris? You don't know nothing about that. Okay, while Mike's cutting these onions, first order of business is butter. Okay, so usually if you're buying a, if you're buying a bag of crawfish or a pound of crawfish, one pound of butter, I mean one stick of butter per one pound of crawfish, you probably have about, I don't know, about a pound and a half right there. So, I'm gonna get this going. All right. All right, now that this butter is melted, get a shot in here. We melted. And listen, I wanna make an important uh, uh, note here. Use real butter. Do not use margarine, all that fake stuff. You need real butter it gives you the taste that you need. So helpful hint, do not use margarine, I don't care if it's cheap, spend the extra money, get the butter, get the salted butter at that, okay? All right, Big Mike, what we're gonna do next is, we're gonna saute these onions and bell peppers that we got cut up. So I'm gonna get Big Mike to come on right here and dump that in here. All right, I'm gonna let Mike squeeze in here. I don't know if we're both gonna fit with the size of Mike's arms right there. I don't, I don't know if I'm able to fit. Listen, I know y'all notice. Go ahead and clean that knife off in there too, Mike. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. I don't know if y'all notice the size of Mike's arm. Show me your arms, man. Yeah, that's because he works out with Captain Cole, man. Tell him, Mike. Yeah, man, we getting it in. You know, that boy been killing me in the gym. I ain't even lying, my goodness. I'm too old for all that stuff that boy does. All right, so what we want to do is let this saute. And everybody knows Captain Kobe likes to brown his onions, right? So we're gonna show everybody what that looks like when it's all said and done. All right, and we're gonna give you next order of business. All right, while this is sauteing, browning real nice, I wanna let everybody know something, listen. There's a hundred ways to make crawfish etouffee here in South Louisiana. I mean, you can go right down the road 20 miles and they make it different in every direction. So listen, this is just the way that we make it. There's no right way or no wrong way. If you like it with the cream of mushroom or you like it with the cream of shrimp, that's fine. That's good. I like it that way sometimes too. But if I got to make me the crawfish that I like to make and I have the time, this is the way that I make it. Okay? So. Listen, if you see this, go, that's not how my mama made it. It's all right, it's okay. Not to say that your mama's way is right or wrong or my way is right or wrong, but this is the way we make it. So try this, tell me the difference. Tell me which one you think. I promise you're gonna love this one. All right, we got Big Mike taking over stirring duties right here. Come on, get a shot in here. See how these onions starting to brown up real nicely. All right, what we wanna do is we're gonna add a little bit of flour to that and we're gonna make us a little roux. We have about, I don't know, let me see. Let's see how we look. A little bit more. I have a third cup right here, so if you would do like a heaping thing of, of one third cup, a little more than that. So we're gonna stir this constantly, right? Constantly, that way all that kind of cooks together. So we're gonna let that root kind of darken up a little bit, all right? Especially right here in these corners, Big Mike, let me show you something. There you go, take that corner and get that corner real good. That way nothing burns right there, because that thing will burn on you in the hole, all right? So one thing about this etouffee, <clears throat> it's a delicate balance. So when your onions are brown and then you put that and you start to make that root, that's gonna cook real quick, okay? So you don't want your onions all the way brown well done because it still has to cook a little more when you put your uh, flour in there when you make that root. So what we want to try to do now is let that root cook. It's going to cook down the onions and bell peppers in there too. Should all that flavor come together. And we'll see what we look like in just a few minutes. All right, let's get a shot in here. As you can see, our onions are browning up real nicely. 
and our room is darkening up. All right, everybody knows I like my room a little dark, but this is a good darkness for the coffee safety fade. If you keep cooking that too much, you burn your onions, get everything going. So what we want to do right now is, I'm gonna grab a little bit of this stock that we have. I'm gonna just dump that right in here. All right, Beautiful. All right. And what we want to do is we need to let this cook come together. We need to let this cook. So this is going to come down. And we're going to cook it down for about a good 30, 40 minutes. All right, this has to come together. So we're going to lower this fire just a little bit. All right. And we're going to let it cook. That goes cheap, messing up my show. Going on a fire call. All right, look at this. Didn't that look awesome already, right? We got a roux going with our onions and bell peppers in there. This is the, this has cooked down, okay? So this is the consistency that you want in there. So this is probably like a, like a melted ice cream type consistency right here. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add what makes everything happen, Mike. Okay? So we're gonna add the secret ingredient, which is our fat. And even this fat's gonna thicken that up too, right? So as you can see right here, this is all that fat. I pulled out. Okay. And I want to get every bit of it because you know why, Big Mike? Why is that? That's what makes it awesome, dude. That's what makes it happen, huh? That's the one that makes it hot. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is take a little stock. Like I said, I want it all out of here. All right? That's gonna cook all down too. Make it very nice. All right. And add our crawfish. Okay. And the rest of this stock. And we're gonna let this cook down. Hey, Cat, when are we gonna put some seasoning in here? Good question. Listen, this has all the seasoning from the crawfish ball in it. So it's already seasoned, but it's probably not seasoned enough that I like. Even with the stock has a little bit of seasoning in there from the, from the heads that we pulled out too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this down. Once this gets cooked down, we're gonna taste it. And whatever else we need, we probably have to add a little seasoning at the end. I'm gonna add that right at the end. Right at that Captain Kobe, huh? Captain Kobe. Captain that's Kobe. Makes it the best, baby. <laughs> that puts it over the top. All right, let's let her cook. All right, two things. Number one, as you can see, our Chief made it back. And as you can tell right here, the reason why I'm cooking in front of the District Chief unit is we invited them to eat today. So sometimes you need favors at the fire station, you gotta cook for the Chief, right? Side so goes, right, Mike? You gotta learn that when you get a little older, man. <laughs> so let's get a shot in here. We're pretty much done. So I finished product. Doesn't that look fantastic? Yes, indeed. All right, Big Mike, I need you to taste this. Be careful, it's very hot. Tell me what you think we need. If we need to see. add anything. Let's, let's see what we got. All right, Cap, it's good, but I think I think you need a little more seasoning. All right, I'm gonna you show see you. that right now? I'll get some, uh, some Captain Coburn there to dust it off. It does have some seasoning from the crawfish ball, but sometimes it lacks a little salt and a little seasoning. All right. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let, me show you. let me show you how you do that, man. Put your little bit in here. Oh, 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 oh. Fancy get that Captain Coburn in there. All right. When you grab your little bit, and you sprinkle that oh, in there like that. Oh. We, 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 look at that, we professional. 
That's how you do that. I'm just gonna show you my thing. <laughs> nah. Nah, let me see. Let's, let's stir that up. I'm gonna stir that up for you. Let's bring that down. Mm -hmm. That's it? You got it. Now we on it, Nambi. That's, That's what I'm talking it. about. That's what I'm talking about. Finalize this right quick, like. It's all Mike is hitting. Watch out now. I appreciate you, Pedro. Phenomenal. All right, let's get up, make our plates, throw it down. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's make it happen. Oh, you good tonight, yo. You might get your plate ready, baby. Watch out now. You're really gonna catch me fixing them up. <laughs> All right, moment of truth, y'all. See how we act. That's phenomenal. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. There you have it, y'all. Crawfish etouffee with a potato salad that Mike made, and it didn't put raw eggs in the potatoes, just so y'all know. All right? Good job. Thank y'all for tuning in. See y'all in the kitchen. Yeah, that's what